I like you. You're sweet. We're gonna start with about two pounds of sweet potatoes and we're gonna peel them. If you've never tried this, you can drizzle extra virgin olive oil onto the potato peels along with whatever seasoning you like and roast in the oven and you'll have tasty sweet potato skin chips. Cut the sweet potatoes into small uniform chunks and I'm steaming my potatoes today because I grabbed a bit more to make some baby food. But you can roast, boil, or steam the potatoes like I am. I'm filling some water in a pot just below the steaming basket. Place the potatoes in, cover with a lid, place on the stove, and about 15 to 20 minutes later, the potatoes should be done. And while the potatoes steam, we can prep the other ingredients. Finally chop up one to two garlic cloves, and then we're gonna finally chop up half of a small sweet onion and cut up 100 grams of pancetta into small little cubes. You can also use bacon, or you can just omit the meat if you want. For the cheese, of course, yes, there's cheese. Coarsely grate low moisture mozzarella for a nice cheese pull and creaminess. And finally, grate pecorino romano. This salty cheese will help balance out the sweetness of the potatoes. I'm grating a bit more mozzarella than pecorino romano, and I ended up with about 150 grams worth. I would say maybe 100 grams of mozzarella and 50 grams of pecorino romano. Give a little mix and set aside your two cheese blend. And lastly, finally chop up about 15 grams of fresh parsley. Now we can cook in a dry pan on low medium heat. Cook the pancetta until a bit crispy and remove to a bowl. You can leave any of the rendered fat in the pan because we're gonna add the onions to it and cook. If you need to add a little bit extra fat, you can add a little drizzle of extra virgin olive oil. Toss in the onions, saute until tender, and then we're gonna add the garlic and season with salt, freshly cracked pepper, and chili flakes for some heat. And saute until the garlic is tender, and then we're gonna remove and set aside. The potatoes are done when they can be easily mashed with a fork, remove to a bowl, and just let them cool. Mash the potatoes a little bit, and then we're gonna add the pancetta, onions, and garlic, and we're gonna season with salt, freshly cracked pepper, add the parsley, and we're gonna start with 50 grams of regular breadcrumbs or panko. You can add more if needed. Add one whisked egg, the cheese, and we're gonna mix and finish mashing to incorporate everything. You can even get in there with your hands, nonna style. And now you can form your patties as big or as small as you like. Grab and kind of squeeze and tap the sides to form little hockey puck sized patties about a quarter inch thick. I was able to form 14 patties out of this mixture. You can place the patties in the fridge just to help firm up and hold together before frying. In a large pan, add enough neutral oil. I'm using canola oil, enough to cover half of a patty. Once the oil is hot, we're gonna add the patties into the pan away from you and fry each side for one to two minutes until both sides are golden brown and crispy. Remove to a plate, line with paper towel just to catch any excess oil, and then we're just gonna season with some salt. Now you can plate these however you like. You can eat them with your hands. I'm just gonna stack a couple, add some sour cream, garnish with a little leftover parsley, grab a fork and bring it to the table. Creamy, sweet, salty. It's overall just a great combination of ingredients. Now you can stack them up with some sour cream or any sort of sauce that you like, or you can just eat them as is on the go. Perfect either way. So I hope you give this recipe a go. And as always, the full recipe is in the description below. Please like and comment. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And until next time, ciao.